Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing these floral letter boxes that I made with Dollar Tree products. The supplies you'll need are bouquets of roses, poster board, and a foam board. And then you'll need some tools, which I'm starting with this ruler and pencil and I'm making the letters two inches thick, 10 inches tall, and six inches in width. And I'm going through and making each of the letters so you'll see what I mean. The ruler is not really required. I just wanted to use it to make sure that the letters were even. If you're good at freehand drawing these types of letters, then the ruler is definitely optional. And next I'm using this X-Acto knife to cut out the letters. You'll need to use one of these or a pair of scissors. And then the last thing you'll need is a hot glue gun. I thought something like these letter boxes would be perfect at a wedding. Um, you can even use it to spell out initials if you're at a reception or something, or even the word love and the roses would look beautiful at a wedding in different sizes. I just happened to make these this size to fit on my shelf and they actually fit perfectly once they were all done and I hadn't planned it out that way. So I'm just cutting out the rest of the letters. I'm using my scissors here. Um, this is, I thought the scissors might affect the way the thickness of the foam was, but it really didn't. So you could definitely use scissors to cut out all the letters if you wanted to. So there are these all done. And now I'm just measuring the poster board at one and three quarters of an inch in thickness to um, create the frame of the letter. So I'm just showing how I did that. This is the initial one. And after I cut that one out, I used that as the stencil or the ruler to make the rest. And I ended up making eight strips, but I only used about five and a half. And here's where the glue gun comes in. So I'm just gluing the poster board to the border of the foam board. And I'm just going around the entire foam board with the poster board and gluing as I go and repeating the same steps for each letter. And this whole process really was actually pretty quick. It took me about 20 minutes to complete this entire project. And because the E took a little longer because it had the most little indents and folds um, required, I'm just showing this one in more detail just so you could see how I got this one done. There they are, 
done. So now I'm just taking the roses. I had six bushels that I had just purchased for this project, but then I ended up having to use another one that I already had. So technically it was $7 worth of the roses. The poster board was two for a dollar and then the foam board was a dollar. So the entire project cost $8.50 to complete. You can definitely glue these roses in for a more permanent hold. I did not, as you can see, I'm just placing them in because I wanted to be able to use these for another project later on. So um, without gluing, they still held up. So just so you know that gluing is not mandatory. And this is the final look just decorating them a little bit with my extra roses and then I set them up on my shelf. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.